The main thing that we wanted to find out was how many times has viviparity or live birth evolved in squamate reptiles, which is lizards and snakes. There are about 115 groups of lizards and snakes that have live birth, but that's only about 2,000 species. The other 8,000 lay eggs. What this shows us is that they can persist laying eggs for tens of millions of years or switch between live birth and laying eggs maybe within just a few hundred thousand or a million years. Squamates are part of a group called tetrapods, and these are the animals with four legs. So amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, turtles. And with the exception of mammals, they almost all lay eggs. And so it was thought that all the ancestors did. And one of our most controversial findings is that the ancestral squamate lineage apparently had live birth. And that pushes our understanding of the evolution of live birth a lot farther back in time, to about 175 million years, when previously it was thought that it had evolved only relatively recently. But that's backed up by several recent fossil discoveries of things like plesiosaurs and mosasaurs and a few lizards from the Cretaceous that in the fossil record apparently had embryos in the mother and had live birth. What we think might be happening is that in these species that are moving around and changing from egg laying to live birth, these genes are simply getting switched on and off and that's something we hope to test in the future. One of the things that we're looking at now is to try to analyze all tetrapods together as a group because we're still assuming that the ancestral tetrapods laid eggs, but what we found out is that when we use an evolutionary analysis, those assumptions can be overturned. So we're actually going to try to analyze the group as a whole to see if there are any new surprises about the evolution of reproductive modes in all of tetrapods from amphibians to mammals.